Ciao. This is Mark Marcantonio. Today I want to show you how to install the latest update to the Active Target system. Uh, I've got my Active Target transducer right here now. There's a new software version that just came out on April the 14th on lowrance.com that you can download. And today I want to show you how to go ahead through that process and how to download that and in upload it into your uh, Active Target system. And tell you a little bit about what it fixes so I have a micro SD card here I've already put that into my computer and I uh, downloaded the software for active target and when you go to the Lowrance website go to uh, lowrance.com um, go to software updates and when you look when it asks you what unit are you looking to update don't put your HDS unit in there put transducer in in the menu selection and then when you uh, look at the transducer software updates you'll see that there's an active target software update so what does this update fix as you can see at the moment I've got my um, active target in my boat and I've got it powered off right now. The, I have my active target module yellow wire. Um, I have it attached to a accessory switch on my dash panel. Accessory switch number one is for my active target. Accessory number two I have there is for my 3D structure scan box. And you can see right now it's turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And now that that's lit up and is turned on, when I go to the active target box, it should be turned on as well. And now you can see the lights are on the active target box. And as it, as it finishes booting, you'll see the power light change from solid green to alternating between green and amber flashing. And when it starts doing that, then it's, it's ready to go. And now you can see the, the lights have changed. So, the yellow wire worked with the past update to turn the module on. The problem is the yellow wire wouldn't turn the module back off. When I go back to my dashboard and turn my accessory switch back off, now that's turned off, the module should shut off. But the software didn't quite get completed properly initially. And as you can see, even though I have the uh, yellow wire accessory switch turned off, the unit is still powered on. So the software update that I downloaded onto this card is what is going to fix that problem. Once I have this uploaded into the uh, active target, then that yellow wire will work like it should work and it'll turn the active target unit on and it'll turn it back off again, which is really important for being able to um, keep your active target from running when you don't want it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chip and I'm going to put it into the bottom slot of my HDS 16, uh, Live 16 unit here. Okay, it's in the bottom slot. This is not like an update for the HDS unit. You'll notice that when I put this in while the unit is still turned on, and that's because this isn't an automatic update. You have to manually install this, unlike the .upd um, files that are automatic updates for updating the software in the HDS unit. This is a .riw file, which requires manual updating. And so the way we do that is now that I've got it on the chip, I download it onto the chip from the website. I'll go ahead and go to my pages and go to storage. So I'm, as you can see, the storage gives me my memory cards and I've got one in the top and I've got one in the bottom. I put it in the bottom slot. So we're gonna to touch the memory card bottom. And then if you look at what's on the card, this shows you all the contents on the card, you'll see Active Target 20.1-64.2.59.-standard-1.riw. Before we import it, let's, um, let's go ahead and check the software that's on here right now so I can show you it's a different software version. So the way you check the software for Active Target 
is different than the way you check for the software on the unit itself. The software for the unit itself is on the about page. The software for the active target is on the sonar installation page. So we'll press the pages button. We will hit settings and then we'll go to sonar, touch sonar and go to active target installation. Now you can see the software that I have in this unit right now is the dot 54 active target software, which is the older version. We're going to put the new one in. So we'll just go ahead and cancel out of this and we'll go ahead and install the new now. So we'll press the pages button. We'll go back to storage. We will go to memory card bottom. We'll go to the um, dot 59 um, active target software version and we touch it and from this screen you want to press upgrade now we press the active target file that's on the card and you see it comes up we hit upgrade and when you get to this screen you'll see your active target name up here you have to touch this to highlight it so we touch it it put a check mark in the box, so now it's ready to start uh, the upgrade. And down in the bottom right corner, you'll press this button that says Start Upgrade. And you see it's transferring data, and you'll see a progress bar over here. Now, when you get to this, it says 100%, but don't stop at this. This is That doesn't mean you're finished. That just means that it is finished getting ready to, to upload the information. It's synchronized all the file systems now. So we sit here and we wait, and now you see it says it's rebooting module. And that's rebooting the module down inside my locker. And we wait for that to finish rebooting. You can see a progress bar over here and it'll get to 100%. So it's, it's actually doing the upgrade process right now, uh, transferring all of the update information into the active target system. And we'll continue to wait, be real patient. And you wanna make sure before you start this that you have a good power set up to your unit. You don't want the power to turn off accidentally. You don't want a low battery or a weak connection or if you're doing all of this um, out on the water, you wanna make sure you're doing it while your batteries are fully charged so that you don't have any power interruption during this process. Because if you do get a power interruption, it will not allow the unit to update properly and it could cause you some problems and you may have to get customer support help to, to finish it or fix it. So you wanna make sure that you've got good battery power throughout this whole process and no power interruptions. So we're up to 65% now, uh, getting this installed. Some people uh, update their units through the internet, through the Wi-Fi. I think it is much better to update them from an SD card, manually download it to an SD card. It works to upload it from a the Wi-Fi also, but it takes longer and I've seen problems where people have had Wi-Fi connection issues and the Wi-Fi wasn't strong and that has caused the um, update to not proceed as properly as it should. So I always recommend downloading onto an SD card, micro SD card like I did. Okay, 100% over here. So now it says upgrade is complete. So we just press okay. And the upgrade is now complete. It's, it's finished. So we can go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and check to make sure that it took okay. And we'll go back to pages, settings, sonar, active target installation. Okay, now the active target is turned back off again. So let's go back over to here and turn the active target back on. You see it says no source because the box was turned off. So we'll click OK now. Let's look at the box. The 
box is powered on, but it's not flashing green and amber yet. So you have to wait till it flashes both green and amber back and forth. That's when it's finished being booted up. So we'll wait for that. Okay, you can see it's changed now. The power LED is blinking between green and amber, which is what we want. So now we have power back to the box and go back here and the no source message that was on my screen before is gone now. Let's double check to make sure that the software installation worked properly. We'll press the pages button, settings, up. I touched the screen with my finger. Settings, go to sonar, active target installation. Okay, and you can see now it's got the dot .59 software. So it did update properly, so that's good. We can just save that or cancel it. And that's all there is to it. So now we're back. We've got uh, active target working properly. And now the accessory switch, you can see it's still turned on. The box is turned on. Let's see if it turns off again when I press the, the button. Okay, let's go to my accessory one, turn it off, let's see if it shut the module off now. see there is no power anymore so it works now that's how you update the yellow wire um, that's how you update the active target to fix the yellow wire problem okay so got it all updated that's uh, how you update the active target so get to it and now you can wire that yellow wire to an accessory switch and when you're out on the lake and your batteries are starting to run low or let's say you don't want to use active target today for whatever reason why waste all the power of powering up that box all day and running your starting battery down now you can use that yellow wire on an accessory switch and shut the unit off until you need it this is mark marcantonio ciao